It is a day he will always remember. Oh, he's doing everything right here. Olga Rune, take a bow. He's made it. And that will do it. Holger Rune, take a bow. The biggest win of his young career. What an amazing last point! Paul Garoon has to retire. Oh, this is such a shame. A final, a first final for both these players on the ATP Tour. It's a handshake. And it's a first title for Paul Garoon. And he should smile, because it is a milestone day for him. I'm improving every day, and this is what matters, because at the end I have some goals to be number one in the world, and you have to start somewhere, and uh, I'm happy to, uh, to be here in Munich. Kidding me. <laughs> oh, terrific forehand up the line. A remarkable performance from a young man who is going somewhere very fast indeed. A second ATP Tour title. What a touch that is! Just that's special. Oh. Out it goes. It is Holger Runa who can't stop winning at the moment. Brutal hitting. He is up in the ante here, Runa. Oh, that's brilliant.
Olga Runa would not be beaten. Uh, tennis like that enabled him to make the final in Basel as well. Here. I think you might be right, Colin. It's a peculiar point. Goodness me, a sudden end to our second quarter final. Nineteen years of age and into his first Masters final. What a few weeks it has been for Holger Rune. Four finals in his last four tournaments. Oh, I think it's caught the line. sit back and defend that time just oh well, that was another outrageous exchange to a remarkable week in Paris for Holger Runa. He's beaten Djokovic, the six-time champion. A first Masters title for the teenager from Denmark. A fifth top ten win of the week. And tomorrow he will be a top ten player himself. Just volley from Runa. Holger Runa into his second Masters 1000 final. Shot making. What a way to finish. A sensational match, and Holgeruna has defended his title here in Munich.